Okay, so we're exporting some tracks, getting ready to dump them into Aurea. I'm just bouncing, uh, we have uh, 15 tracks of backing vocals on this song, so I'm bouncing them down to a stereo file, so here's how we do that. You can hear these, these are gorgeous. Okay, so right there, got those bounced down to a stereo file, the backing tracks. And then uh, now we're going to export all the things as stem. So let me get this prepped and I'll come back. Okay, so we have Kick Snare, Tom 2, Floor Tom. Uh, these are some tracks I triggered in Superior from the live drum tracks. And then we have our real overheads, um, bass. All the guitar parts, etc. Um, let's go through. Then we have acoustic guitar, some synth, the piano part, which is a synth piano. Then the lead vocals, and then those background vocals you just heard. So um, in Reaper, it's very easy to export tracks for Aurea, where I'm going to mix this. Um, I'm going to take all the mono tracks first and export them as mono stems, starting at the same time. And then I'll take the stereo tracks I have, uh, there's a few of them, and I'll export them as stereo stems. Alright, so I'll be right back. Okay, so what we have here is I have uh, all the mono tracks that I want to export selected. They're all bounced to... I'm sorry, I set all the levels to minus 18 where I want it to come out and pan them all to the center. So that will get a nice uh, output, just trying to get a good um, level for them. And then, of course, I'm going to mix it in uh, Aurea, so I just want a consistent level that's not peaking and is uh, ready to go. So now I'm going to go to... Well, I'm going to render, and then I'm going to render the stems, selected tracks going to do whoop, so, yeah. time selection go to one here okay so render time selection so uh, now I have everything selected and I have to have the tracks selected as you see okay and then um, I have to figure out where I'm going to put it, so I will make a new directory here. I have a uh, thing to export for Aurea, so here's the song, Apocalypse. And when I do it, I always make another folder inside, so that when I unzip it inside Aurea, I don't have all the audio files sitting in the main Aurea folder. So that's where we're going to put them. Um, I'll leave it as that because it thinks I want to export an mp3 right now but I don't of course I'm going to export waves uh, you see channels I'm going to make these the mono because these are the mono tracks um, I'll do it offline and okay now here's the other thing we want to do our file name so I'm going to do this you can add wildcards in Reaper, so I'm going to do the track number, and then the track name, and then I'm just going to add a little uh, extension, so just in case something is lost, I, I can see it. Okay, so I ran out of space there, and then I'm just going to hit render 13 files, and it's going to do it, so now I'll just wait. Oop, a little too hot, I'm going to bring those levels down and cancel this. Right, so you can see everything's moving together. It's sort of hidden by that window, but everything's moving together. So I'm going to bring them down to maybe here. And let's see. Let's try that again. Yes, I want to overwrite them. All right. Okay, 
So there's our output. Um, I'm going to have to check to see if those worked. Because with the electric guitars, I have them grouped into a bus, and that wasn't Bounce's audio. So I have to make sure that that actually exported as a mono track. So I'm going to check that in a minute, and then I'll do the stereo ones. Yeah, cool. So it looks like that worked. Neat. Yep. So now I'm going to select my stereo tracks and uh, and then do the same thing, just export them. Okay, so again I have the stereo track selected. I have a level that I think is nice. So I'll leave it there, I'll leave it kind of conservative. And I'm going to do the same thing. So again, go to render. Have the same thing. All the settings are still there. I'm just going to change now to stereo. And it will render all seven of those. So I've reduced a uh, whatever it was 49, 60 track session, whatever it is, to uh, about 20 tracks, a few stereo, but uh, going to make it much easier in Aurea. So here it is bouncing down. It'll do the whole thing in about a minute, and I'll have the whole track exported starting from zero. Pretty cool. Okay, so again, they should be exported. Something pretty cool that you can do in Reaper, put that back into focus, is you can have different tabs for projects. And um, so I just opened a new tab just to test these files out. So I'm going to again go to the Media Explorer. Okay, and now in our Export for a Cup Apocalypse, there's all our tracks. You see the stereo ones are double the size, but everything should be lined up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just select them all. Okay. And I'm trying to do this one-handed, it's not too easy. I'm just going to import them all. Import them on separate tracks. Yes, they'll all be lined up, theoretically. Let's hope. So it's going to import them. So it looks like everything's lined up. There's all our tracks. Okay, well, let's hit play, see what happens. Keep in mind, this is now everything at equal level, so that doesn't always make sense, but. Okay, I'm running very low on space here, so. Um, you see here, here's all our tracks exported. So to put it in Aurea, you need to zip the file. So I'm going to zip the master folder here. All right. Okay, so here we are in the iTunes file sharing on my iPad under Aurea. So I'm one thing that I just found out is if you want to remove files from your iPad, I backed these projects up to my hard drive already. So all you do is hit the delete key and boom, gone. Because unfortunately with a 16 gig iPad, uh, I don't have a lot of space and that is not accurate. <laughs> There's actually maybe about one gig free. So anyway, I'm gonna load this project on. So here we go. Again, we're under the Aurea tab. There's all the impulse responses I imported. We're gonna add, I'm gonna go to my folder I made. So we're going to, where is it, for Aurea exported. And I have the file we just made zipped up. I'm going to open the zip file and add it to Aurea. And you see it's copying. 